Hi, I'm John Olson. Welcome to Next Stop from the Old Pueblo. Welcome to Tucson, Arizona, a city rich in Southwest culture. We'll showcase its culture with local food and music. We'll also feature an extremely colorful parade followed by a celebration not to be missed. We'll bring you one of the most popular museums in the world. We'll also take you to a dude ranch, which is, well dudes, pretty cool. All this and much more on Next Stop Tucson. The fun starts now. Located just outside of Tucson, the Tanca Verde Ranch is one of the nation's premier dude ranches. I've been looking forward to this. This is not your average dude ranch, my friend. It's beyond a ranch. I mean, it's a, it's a hotel, it's a spa, it's, you've got great restaurants, you've got meeting space for businesses and corporations, you've got wedding set up over here. This is kind of the place you want to come to really be the iconic cowboy, cowgirl. I mean, that's the source of really where our business comes from. This feels like a ranch. Well, I'll tell you, this walkway here and the buildings along it are some of the original buildings that were put up on the ranch. We have basic sport activities like tennis courts and we have a lit tennis court. We just built two pickleball courts, which is a big up and coming sport back east that we're bringing out here. What is Team Penning? I read about Team Penning on your website. Team Penning is a great activity where we will take the ranch guests and saddle them up in the crowd, take them over to the arena, and they have to run through exercises of moving the cattle around. So you're always going to hold and operate the reins with one hand, and you always point your hand where you want to go. To stop your horse, you're going to pull back towards your belly button and say, whoa, until he stops. Now with the cows, they're a herd animal. You want to move them as a unit. I'm gonna have you guys bring your horses over here and we're gonna kinda use these two barrels as a starting line. And I want you to put the cows into the middle pen over there. There's a middle pen called the 300 pen. There we go, now get your V formation. There you go, actually kick him with both feet. Now big kick, with both feet, turn your toes out, kick him with your heels, like you're angry at him. All right, so now we just need our blocker on that side to turn him into the fence. There you go. Good! Good job, guys! So, what did you think of the team penning exercise? I thought it was great. Those guys did an awesome job. They were pretty incredible. For newbies, I think they did a great job. So, I did. But I think now what we want to do is we want to take you down and get you fishing. We hold this kind of reel up on top, like this, okay? It's locked up, okay. but if I push in the button and release it, it releases the line, like so. You got one, huh? I got one. All right, bring that baby home. Let me show you how we deal with these guys. You're making me feel Dinner. bad, John. <laughs> so that's a bluegill sunfish, and you can see that dorsal fin is very spiky. To cap off an incredibly memorable day here at the Dude Ranch, I'm going to hit the spa for a treatment that is sure to take care of this jet lag body. This is actually the product that will take out any congestion from your legs, tiredness, achiness, soreness. So there you go. So then you stay in this for 10 minutes. So normally we add this on to like a regular massage or within a, body, a full body wrap. If you need to get away and relieve stress and it's quiet and peaceful out here, it's, it's a great place just for that reason. On your next trip to Tucson for an unforgettable experience for you and your family, visit the Tanca Verde Ranch. There's something for everybody. This experienced traveler gives it two thumbs up. Coming up on Next Stop, local foods and golf in the desert at a world-class resort. Jessica from Visit Tucson. We're going to talk local foods. Jessica, what's on the agenda? The Sonoran hot dog. First stop in Tucson should be the Sonoran hot dog. So I've we're here it. at El Huero Canelo, and this is what we're going to do. We're going to take a sample and then on to a Mexican bakery for a little dessert. So he started this, what, 20 years ago? Uh, 1993. And it was, it basically started out as a, uh, a food cart. 
driving over here on the radio, I heard them talking about the Sonoran hot dog. I said, when you come to Tucson, you got to have one of these. We're very proud of our Sonoran hot dog, actually. And I think it, it maybe encompasses all of the awesome flavors of, you know, hot dog, Mexican food. you got the homemade bread. You've got, I mean, I'll tell you what's in it first. <laughs> Do tell. It's a, it's a hot dog that's wrapped in bacon, that's topped with beans, and what we call pico de gallo, which is really just uh, like a, a chunky salsa. Very good and very, very fresh. Party in your mouth, right? <laughs> Don't like it. <laughs> So, John, what'd you think? Pretty awesome. Yeah, you know what's next. Dessert? Let's do it. Okay. And we're here with Erica Franco, and she is with La Estrella Bakery, which is a staple in Tucson, Arizona. Um, 27 years they're celebrating. I love Mexican bakeries. They're so colorful, and the smell is always so amazing. How does a family business stay in business for 27 years? We work for the people. Uh, we do a lot of things for the community, so and it's a bakery, so we have to stay open every single day. Obviously, it's very popular. There's lines almost up the door here. Yes. I think it's amazing in the Mexican culture. We've done a lot of shows down there, how important the family unit is. Yes. And having a bakery together as a family for 27 years yes. really shows that. Right. And, you know, we have our ups and downs, of course. Like a family. Really? My family's perfect. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> Even in college, you know, my siblings and myself, we went to college, so weekends was work at the bakery. A lot of hard work. <laughs> it is. For it this? Is. Yes, what do we have here? Yes, well, we have our typical uh, conchita, and we ha have our bandera cookie here. It's the Mexican flag. Mexican the Mexican flag. flag, and why don't we start with the pumpkin empanada? Okay. Right? Okay, so. Well, I'll take a bite. Okay. Gracias. Okay. See what you think? Tasty? Mm. Better than a box of donuts, right? <laughs> Better than a box of donuts. Better than pumpkin pie. Even. Yeah. So. Well, thank you for having us here. Oh, thank you for and coming. And sharing in. your treats. I wish you 27 more years of luck thank in the community. Thank you. Thank you. Well, well I'm, I hope you will be here. <laughs> I'm sure you will. The Westin La Paloma Resort and Spa recently underwent a $35 million renovation, or in Westin terminology, rejuvenation. There are many reasons to come to this spectacular resort, but perhaps none more engaging than golf. Guys, when I think of golf in the desert in Tucson, I do not think of this. You know, it's a Jack Nicklaus signature design. We do have 27 holes here. I think the most unique thing that we offer is the elevation changes we have within the desert here. Now you guys are rated one of the top golf courses in the nation and you just went through a big renovation. What's new here? We did a greens renovation which is similar to Pinehurst number three, the turf that they have and as well we did a bunker renovation which is similar to the sand that is at Augusta that came from San Clemente, California. So who can play here? Can the locals play here? Obviously we're staying at the Westin, we can play here. You know, the golf course is open to anyone here staying at the hotel, as well as we do have over 700 members uh, at our La Paloma Country Club. I noticed that. So you've got great facilities. I was working out last night, and I'm thinking, not everybody here is staying at the resort. So you, members have access to your facilities. Yeah, it, definitely. And that's something that we've tried to position it at. Um, you know, it's kind of been a big focus that it's the entire lifestyle rather than just your traditional uh, country club. So you get the whole lifestyle experience with the uh, resort access that they have. Where are some of the highlights of what they get? Um, well, definitely the fitness center, as you touched on. Um, the fitness center was redone about a year and a half ago. Um, so all new flooring was put in, new machines, um, new free weights, and then the tennis courts were redone around the same time as well. So there's ten total courts, uh, four Georgia clay, and then uh, six hard courts that go along with them. Have you guys checked out the food here? The restaurants? We have. What do you like? Uh, What's good? I can tell you the pork chop in Azul is one of the best I've ever had. I'll have that tonight. And also one of my favorites over in Azul is the uh, pulled pork tacos. Oh, yum. Now you do something, a ritual at night, that has to do with this mountain. What exactly is that all about? It's a ritual that we do every evening around the pool. We have someone tell a story about how the town of Tucson originated. And uh, it was, you know, some of the first settlers here in Tucson were because of the mountains that are behind us. Now, while the location of the city and the mines still remain hidden to all those who search, all visitors to these mountains are sure to discover unforgettable adventures and renewed inner peace. Salute, and thank you for joining us this evening. 
Up next, one of the top museums in the country and a deeply spiritual musical and artistic experience. The Arizona Sonora Desert Museum is not your average museum. In fact, 85% of it is outside. Let's enjoy an afternoon outside in the desert. So Craig, this might be the most unique museum I've ever been to. This is much more than your average museum. Yeah, and I think the name itself is a little confusing for people because they come here and sometimes they haven't looked at the website, didn't talk to somebody, and they walk in expecting an indoor museum and they find 85% of it outdoors. And so we've pretty much turned it inside out. Um, but rather than trying to change its name after 60 years of history, is to try and give people a better expectation of what that means. So it's a fusion experience of garden, zoo. I see many species of cacti. Is it cacti or cactuses? or? Well, for that it's cacti, yeah. Okay. But you know, you can see either one and nobody's gonna be offended. And you have a cacti garden? We do, and actually on our grounds there's over 200 different species of cacti that we have here. TripAdvisor definitely knows about you. That's You've for sure. You just voted one of the ninth rated museum in the world. Isn't that fantastic? That's amazing. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Pleasure My to pleasure. meet you, and uh, let's go see some raptors. All right. Look at this. A nocturnal hunter has come into the territory. This is the common barn owl. And if you ask me, this bird isn't common at all. Just a beautiful bird. And as you also can see, the common barn owl is not very large, weighs about a pound, but in flight, you'll notice, look at those broad wings. Oh, look at this. Our trainer has a lure, and he's gonna use that lure to show how this peregrine can do incredible dives. And I'll bet you know that peregrine have been clocked at speeds of over 240 miles an hour. If they would never allow, the, oh, look at this. I see two raptors who wanted the same perch, one, one. They are perch hunters. This is the Harris hawk. Look at these birds up in the air, cooperatively looking for food on the ground. The University of Arizona is based right here in Tucson, and their mascot is the Wildcats, which is actually a bobcat. Let's meet one of the many talented animal keepers and learn about bobcats. Training here at the Desert Museum, uh, we do this so that our animals can have good care. We do a lot of this for veterinary reasoning. Um, so first thing he had to learn was to sit on this this what we call his mark. He could easily take me down, so having him go to this spot helped him to build a relationship with us. We started to feed him on this, and we created a trusting relationship. Tongue. Good. Ears. Good. So both of those, the, the tongue one is because a lot of problems can show in the tongue coloration. Poke. Another sign. House, half circle, good, all right. As you see, I didn't touch him. He enjoys it, I enjoy it, and it's good for them for enrichment, which means we're stimulating them, and also for veterinarian care. Alaska Airlines is proud to take you to amazing destinations like Tucson, Arizona, offering daily nonstop service from both Seattle and Portland. Known for its low fares and exceptional customer service, passengers can also take advantage of additional benefits like helpful mobile technology, a 20-minute baggage guarantee, and coming soon, power at every seat. For more information on Alaska Airlines and to learn how to truly explore more and spend less, visit alaskaair.com. pleasures of my job is meeting talented people all over the globe. Tonight at Tucson is no exception. Paula and Daniel, 
thank you for sharing your gifts with us. Thank you, John. Crystal Radio is new for you guys. You're not used to doing this thing, but it's so cool. Tell us about it. Thank you. Um, really, it kind of spawned from just trips around Arizona over the summer and just um, kind of being in the beautiful wilderness of Arizona, the mountains, different ghost towns, and kind of just being inspired by that. Um, and then we also, Daniel was kind of inspired to create this theremin type instrument, which we called the Crystal Theremin, and just kind of getting that vibe, this kind of old vintage type feel. Such a cool space. The, your music fit in perfectly with this space tonight. You know, you've had this for a few years. Yes. Sacred Machine, Crystal Radio. I, I didn't know what to expect with the room tonight, and I'm so pleasantly surprised because not only do we hear good music, but we see amazing art. I do a lot of research. Um, I'm really fascinated with the alchemy, really fascinated with the um, old world artwork. Um, but it's just, you know, when, when I create art, it's just purely coming out of some subconscious, you know, part of me. I, I, I don't know what it is, you know. A couple of the songs you played tonight I could see like in Breaking Bad. Some of those kind of dark, sinister shows that I absolutely love. Celebr <laughs> Celebrity Rehab, that's one of them. Is it really? <laughs> you guys have a song in there? For our other, songs. yeah, a few songs and just other strange things on History Channel, you know, kind of mysterious type. You are the mortal. Coming up on Next Stop, one of the most memorable events we've ever attended. You'll want to stick around for this. We're in downtown Tucson for the annual All We travel Soul the globe with Next Stop, and I never leave home without my Alaska event. Airlines Visa signature card. Upon approval, you get 25,000 bonus miles and a $99 companion ticket for every year you've one got the card. One of the more colorful characters of the All Souls Flight procession is AlaskaAir.com. Who's going to tell us about this amazing event? The short version of the history of it is a friend of mine and a local artist, Susan Johnson, 23, 24 years ago, wanted to find a way to process the death of her father. And in working with other friends and artists around town, including Michael Wells and a few others, she realized that something having to do with the Day of the Dead and other other ceremonies that other cultures have was speaking to her. And so she made a series of masks and, and grabbed some friends of hers, also artists, and they did a quick little performance piece downtown. More artists got together and made masks and costumes and showed up downtown and marched around. And eventually there were hundreds of us and the city said, you kind of need to get a permit for this kind of thing. Maybe you need some police escorts. And it became a more official thing. The costumes are amazing. They are, aren't they? Does everybody follow the theme? Is everybody following the Not fire theme? Not necessarily, and they don't have to. So you'll see a lot of folks. Art is art, right? Yeah, it is. And whatever moves you. My desire is that people feel like they can express themselves in whatever way they need to in order to remember, mourn, rejoice, whatever it is they come here to do, whatever need that's fulfilling for them. Okay, describe the layout of the events tonight. We're going to have a parade. Mm. Okay, so, and we uh, we actually don't call it a parade. We call it a procession. Procession. There's a difference. Part of why we have it on Sunday now is because when we used to have it on, if, if it fell on a Saturday or a Friday, there'd be kind of a party atmosphere that's a different kind of party. This is a party. It's a celebration. But it's not a, it's not like a drunken brawl, right? Like some parades turn into. Sure. It's a procession, and we walk at a procession pace, and we walk with intention. So we'll start here. Everybody's gathering right now. You can see walking around, taking each other's pictures. Some folks never see each other except now. Some folks see each other every day and don't recognize each other because of the makeup. I wouldn't know what you yeah. look like on, the, exactly. on a regular day. So the walk is to remember, 
and we put our prayers in the urn, if you've seen the urn yet. And when we get to the finale site, then we have a performance and, and a bit of a catharsis. And at the end of that, we burn the contents of the urn and we release it up to heaven. Next stop from Tucson, Arizona, home of one of the absolutely coolest events we've ever attended anywhere in the world. Thanks also to our show sponsors, the Westin La Paloma Resort and Spa, and Visit Tucson. Thanks as always to our show's title sponsors and very good friends, Alaska Airlines and the Alaska Airlines Visa Signature Card. Next stop, where will we take you next? Make good memories, everybody. Compared to this, so this is more quiet. <laughs> Unlike that. Unlike that. <laughs> no. The Sonoran hot dog. What Tucson is known for. <laughs> <laughs> we'll showcase that culture with local food and music. We'll also lose the light and redo the take.